Good morning everyone. I will be presenting a study on factors affecting visual outcome after the surgical repair of limbal corneal laceration. Uh, open globe injury is a significant cause of permanent visual impairment and blindness worldwide. Around 1.6 million go blind from ocular injuries. Corneal laceration and corneal perforation are common ocular traumas with potential devastating sequelae including corneal scarring, astigmatism and endophthalmitis. Factors likely to predict the outcome after open globe injury includes mechanism or type of injury, preoperative pre visual acuity, time lag between the injury and surgery, relative apparent pupillary defect, size and location of the wound. The other factors predicting outcome are associated retinal detachment, uvea or retinal tissue prolapse, which is hemorrhage, lens damage and hyphema and number of operative procedures done. Corneal scars after perforating corneal injuries cause significant visual reduction due to the direct obscuration of rays by the opacity and irregular corneal astigmatism that re results due to this scar. In developing countries with the paucity of uh, donor material, corneal contact lenses are the considered as the first choice of optical rehabilitation in the eyes with corneal scar following the repaired corneal perforation. All lacerations require urgent repair to reduce the risk of infection, decrease tissue necrosis and alleviate patient discomfort. Typical recommendation for a repair is within 24 hours. The goal of any repair is watertight closure, restoration of normal anatomy and limiting the amount of postoperative corneal scarring and astigmatism. Counseling and prognostication is an internal part of managing ocular trauma. As aim of the study is to determine the visual outcome and factors affecting the visual outcome after surgical repair of limbal corneal laceration at the tertiary care in South India. Uh, it is a retrospective study at the conducted at the tertiary eye care center in Andhra Pradesh, state of South India, approved by in institutional ethics committee and adhered to the tenets of declaration of Helsinki. All the cases with the limbal corneal laceration uh, are included in the study. Over a period of 10 year, studied over a period of 10 years from February 16, 2011 to February 15, 2021. And the minimum follow up for three years is, uh, are included in the study. And cases operated elsewhere before presentation and corneal lacerations without limbal involvement were excluded from the study. Factors studied are demographic, demographic data, place and mode of injury, visual acuity. Uh, anterior and posterior segment examination was done and B scan and CT to rule out foreign body. The factors studied in, the stud in this uh, study are age, gender, place of injury, object causing the injury, size of laceration, safety precautions were taken or not, preoperative and postoperative best corrected visual acuity, presence of or absence of hyphema, pupil size and other irregularities such as iris prolapse, iododialysis, winter tears, cataract and subluxation, cataract and subluxation or dislocation of the lenses, scleral involvement, vitreous prolapse, duration between the trauma and surgery. Need for secondary surgery in post-operative secondary surgery in post-operative period. The visual acuity is categorized according to WHO visual impairment categories. A favorable anatomical outcome was defined as preservation of globe and absence of hypotony, attached retina, and absence of active inflammation at the last visit. Post-operative management included ciproploxin 0.3% eye drops, prednisolone 1%, tapering doses in for six weeks, suture removal for the healing, and refraction and contact lens trial whenever needed. Statistical analysis was done with stat of A4 14.2 and bivariate and multivariate analysis was performed to evaluate the factors associated with visual outcomes. In the regression model, independent variables such as preoperative best character visual acuity, mode of injury, size of wound, scleral involvement, hyphema, iris uh, prolapse, lens status, duration of surgery, intracameral antibiotic use and type of second sur surgery were included. P-value less than 0 0.05 was considered statistically significant. Our results showed to, uh, the number of uh, patients included in the study is 20. The average age was 42.6 plus, 42 plus or minus 22.4 years. Eight patients were from urban areas and 12 were from rural background. Average age between the injury and the surgery was 48 hours. 
this is the plot showing the comparison between the initial and final visual acuity. The preoperative factors studied are mode of injury by stick in four cases and rod, iron rod in two cases, size of wound four. Average size of wound is 4.9 plus or minus 2.4 mm. High FEMA seen in 12 cases and iris prolapse in 15 cases. Traumatic cataract in 4 cases. Duration uh, between the trauma and surgery is 44 hours. Conclude please. Yeah, sure. The bivariate analysis showed the preoperative visual acuity, mode of injury and size were statistically significant. Rest are not statistically, not statistically significant. Multivariate analysis showed preoperative visual acuity and mode of injury are statistically significant. Males are more commonly involved, uh, about 75%. And uh, visual outcome is age is not in... In our study, a average age is not influencing the visual outcome. And visual, initial visual acuity is the most important prognosticating factor in penetrating injury. In our study also, presenting visual acuity was a determining factor. Uh, high FEMA is a predictor of visual acuity studied by Barr et al. In our study, we did not find any significance. We, uh, time lag between the injury and the surgery was adversely affected, affected the visual outcome, but though not sig statistically significant. Limitations of study are retrospective study. Larger sample size is required to improve statistical power. Additional studying astigmatism in the follow-up evaluations might have provided additional insights. Conclusion, preoperative visual acuity, mode of injury and size of the wound affects the visual outcome after the surgical repair of limbal laceration. Preoperative visual acuity and mode of injury were statistically significant in multivariate, even in the multivariate analysis. While the time lag between the injury and surgery may negatively impact final visual outcome, but the, if this effect was not statistically significant in our study. Thank you. This was our study. Did you do find any post-operative infections after our surgery? No, sir. No. Uh, when you say limbus, did you consider all zone 1 or 2? Zone 2. Up to limbus is zone 1 and... No, no. Your all cases, if it is limbus, maybe it is zone 2, 1 or zone 2. Both can be Both there, can right? be there. So, that any distinction then between two? In our study, no, sir. So, your suture material, your... 10 zero nylon. 10 zero nylon. If it is clearer, then you can use the... You may use the... Right, right. right, really, yes. Right, thank you. Thank you.